What is this? It's Microsoft Excel. I just drag this little cross as far as I want the data extended. <laughs> Check it out. My spreadsheet doesn't do that. Nick, I'm just going to drag the table over here and make room for it. Hey, hey, did you just drag that? My spreadsheet doesn't do that. Click on the auto format. Our superhero shops through several professionally designed formats and applies one. That one. With a click of his mighty mouse. I can't believe it. You, you did it. We did it. <laughs> it looks great. This is a miracle. What was that? Excel is one of the most popular productivity apps in the whole world. It is used for more than 750 million people. But recently, Microsoft made a huge announcement that they will support Python in Excel. What does this mean? It means you can do real programming in Excel now. You can write Python code to do data segmentation and advanced data visualization, or even machine learning and create some basic apps inside Excel and share with others when you finish. So it definitely make Excel a lot more powerful. But the part that got me really excited is, does that mean we can actually build AI features in Excel directly through packages like Langchain, OpenAI, and Llama Index? Because that will open so many different use cases. For example, when I was doing my own startups, I often need to create spreadsheets of different investors and clients, and then do a lot of research about their recent news, LinkedIn profile, and company. But if I can plug the AI research agent I built before in Excel directly, and that would be such a game changer. And I'm sure there are a ton of other use cases that will be unlocked as well. And Microsoft somehow actually hide it pretty deep. So to get that, you will first need to open the terminal with admin permission. Give this command line. Then you will open Excel, go to the account tab, click on that and choose join Microsoft 365 Insider and choose to be the channel, agree on term and condition and click OK. Once it's finished, you should see a little button here called insert Python. So you can actually start doing some quite advanced data visualization or even machine learning as well. So it's quite powerful. But the part I'm really interested in is, can I run Langchain or OpenAI inside this Excel? But unfortunately, what I found is that currently Python in Excel only support quite a limited amount of the libraries. And they are powerful, but not exactly what we were looking for. And for security reasons, it also didn't support requests as well. So I can't really send out API requests. So there's literally no way for me to implement any AI feature inside Excel at this point. So we probably need to wait till the code pilot to be released to fully understand the new capability that AI can bring to Excel. But this just got me thinking, how will this AI native spreadsheets gonna look like? So I start research about which teams already explore this area so that it can help us to look into future possibilities. Here are the few teams and platforms I found quite inspiring. And the first one I want to talk about is Relevance AI. If you watch some of other video I made, you probably know Relevance AI. It is no code platform that allow people to build AI automation and agents. Recently, they released a powerful feature called Data. It allows me to create spreadsheets to power AI workflows, which was exactly what I was looking for when I tried to set up a sales outreach pipeline. And I will show you step-by-step step how can you set it up. So firstly, you will go to Data tab and upload a CSV file that includes a list of companies that you want to outreach. Then you will see spreadsheets type of interface like this, where each row here is a company that you want to research on. And the first thing we will do is we're going to create an AI workflow. So I will click on this add a column button and click generate with tool. And here you have a list of templates you can already use, but I'm going to create a new one and give a name company research where it can take two inputs, company name and the role I want to find within that company. Then I can do a few steps, do the Google search to find the LinkedIn address of that specific role within that company, as well as the company's website. Then I can use large language model to do the data extraction. So it can extract the clean data from the Google search results about that specific people I'm looking for. And also website URL so that it can do the scripting of the company's website and feed that information to the large language model so that it can have a summary about the business model, target audience, and key information about this company. In the end, I can just give it the company name and the role I want to find. It will do the research and return a list of relevant information. What's really cool here is that I can actually use all those AI workflows for every single role. So for example, I can add a new column, click on generate with tool button and select the AI tool that I just created and map the table column to the right input. And after click confirm, a column like this will be added where I can try to run on some of the rows. You will see they actually do the company research and pop in all those new data they get. And once I feel confident, I can actually run on all the rows I have for thousands of a company. So this gives the ability to run AI features and workflows in your spreadsheet data directly. On the other hand, I can continuously run more AI workflow based on the research data. 
For example, I can create another AI tool called LinkedIn Data Enrichment, where I can pass both the name and LinkedIn URL of the potential prospect, and then build an AI tool to firstly get the username of the LinkedIn profile sent to some API service that can actually return the LinkedIn profile scraping, and then get a large language model to give me a summary so that it can actually give me more information about this person I'm reaching out as well. And in the end, I can build another AI tool called Email Generator, which takes all those research information that we collected in the previous steps feed into the large language model. Firstly, I will ask it to generate three unique value proposition and ideas about how this prospect company can use our service and then use another large language model to generate a personalized opening line based on this person's profile. In the end, I will put in all those messages together. So with this, I can actually generate hyper-personalized outreach campaign for hundreds of people every day. And this just opened up so many different use cases. For example, Every time I finish a video, I also want to turn this video into a blog on my website. And I can use this platform to set up a whole pipeline as well. So I will create multiple different tools from getting the YouTube transcript based on the YouTube link and write a blog post and in the end post blogs to my web flow. So all I need to do is when I finish a video, I just come here, paste a YouTube link in and run this workflow. It will automatically create the blog in my web flow CMS and publish. And if your business process involve a lot of paperwork, you can also set up a documents extract pipeline where you can upload the invoice file you receive from someone and let AI to automatically extract and categorize information, invoice date, invoice item, total amount, and trigger more workflow. So I think what this really demonstrates is once we combine the AI capability into Excel, it can actually power a huge amount of different use cases and workflow. Before we move on, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, HubSpot. HubSpot actually spent a huge amount of time and efforts in the AI space. Recently, they released a research paper where they surveyed more than 1,000 marketing experts to really understand how does AI tools are actually used in real world today and what are the use cases they actually drive business growth. And the part I found particularly interesting is the practical use cases that those people tried and worked because there are a lot of noise. It's hard to know what are the real deals. For example, they collect case studies about how top firms are using AI to repurpose content, like turning an old blog post into a new broadcast or videos or building new landing pages from email sequence that worked very well in the past, as well as how those marketing experts are automatically optimizing the content performance. So I found it really useful. I have put the download link in my description below. It is free reports, so I would definitely recommend to go have a read if you are interested in how AI tools are actually used in real world examples. Now back to our AI spreadsheets topic. And those are all the AI automation or CRM related use case. But what about the data analyst part of the use case? And here's one company I saw that is doing something really interesting called Akio. And they are building an AI assistant for anyone to get insights from the data. And the way it works is you can import your data from different types of source, from CSV, Snowflake, or other CRM you have. And if I'm uploading CSV, it will firstly ask me what's the goal of this analyst. So I want to understand which types of books are selling well and click on generate report. Then you'd automatically generate insights report like what's the distribution of the rating, the relationship between the selling price and the rating, and how the selling price differ from each book type. And I can always go back to ask AI to do the data cleaning for me to remove some kind of noise data I might have. And I can also chat in with this chatbot to get insights out, like a chart of discount percentage versus original price. And if I found anything is interesting during this data exploration, I can also save this to the report that I'm generating in the end so I can share with my teammates. And on the other side, they also allow me to do some prediction forecast and detect any anomalies. So if I click on this predict and selling price, it can automatically generate some forecasts about sales. So I think this is a really good example, how an AI native data product can really make those insights that used to take hours to generate become much more accessible for anyone. So those are a few examples of how I think AI can really change Excel experience. And if you know any other interesting team and projects are building in this space, please let me know. I'd love to explore as well. I will continue posting more interesting AI projects I've seen and built. If you enjoy this, please consider giving me a subscribe and I see you next time.